What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another video of Tea Time. Uh, today is going to be a weird video guys. Uh, I had already something planned for today's episode of Tea Time. But I have to re-record um, the episode. So I'm just taking it off the head. I have a little bit of notes here. Again, I had a Tea Time video recorded already. But I felt that that video can wait and I wanted to talk about everything that's going on right now. Again, it's going to be a very weird video. Uh, I'm just going to be speaking my thoughts, my opinions. Because when I started this episode of Tea Times, I said to you guys that Tea Times was going to be something that I wanted to talk about. Either in the sneaker community, something that's going on in my life, or anything that is going on in the world. And as you can see right now... um there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now okay so let's just get into this episode so sit back relax hopefully you guys give me a couple minutes of your time and watch the video uh yeah if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell join the notification gang uh so yeah let's get into this video all right guys so welcome back to another episode of tea time okay like i said in the beginning it is going to be a very weird video uh, I have some little notes here because I just dotted down some things that I wanted to talk about so I don't forget. Uh, a couple of things that I want to start off talking about, man, is obviously if you are if you own a TV, if you're in social media, you know what's going on with the whole George Floyd situation. Rest in peace to George Floyd. Um, but before we go ahead and get into that, guys, I do want to just share something that I saw on Instagram it's a 2020 time uh, timeline that I saw and it really like got me thinking. So I'm going to put a picture somewhere right here. 2020 has been very crazy. January, we had Kobe passed away. Rest in peace, Kobe. February, we had Rona, the coronavirus, COVID-19 started. Uh, in March, we had quarantine, quarantine season. You guys already know. Uh, in April, the Kidder Wasp. You know, and then May, America's on fire, George Floyd. So I'm legit scared of what June holds. So today is June 1st, um, 830, 8.31 in the morning. Um, yeah, man, 2020 has been very, very crazy. It's been a very tough beginning of 2020. So just let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, man. Uh, again, this is going to be a weird video. I don't really like to talk about stuff like this, political stuff, government stuff. But I just felt that it's something that I wanted to talk about in this episode because tea time, it is what's it about just to get stuff off my chest. So uh, I do want to keep things positive, guys. So keep things positive in the comments down below. I feel you guys. I hear you guys. I'm with you guys. But all this riots and looting has to stop. So let's get into it, man. Um, again, I understand the whole situation with the George Floyd. Rest in peace to George Floyd. He is from Houston, Texas, where I live here in Houston, Texas. Uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, they are going to have a um, a march from the city hall. Uh, starts at 3 p.m. It's been really affected here in the city of Houston. If you're from Houston, you've probably already seen all the crazy stuff that's been going on here. Uh, small businesses are being affected by it. A lot of looting, a lot of destroying stores here in Houston. Locally, San Antonio, Dallas, everywhere, you know, not just here in Texas, but I'm all over the United States. And it's just crazy. LA, Atlanta, New York. Again, my city, Houston, Dallas, local area, San Antonio. Um, so, yeah, man, a lot of protests, protests, a lot of peaceful protests that turn into looting and riot. It's one thing that I don't understand. What does the looting and what does the riots, well, not the riots, but what does the looting and destroying small businesses have to do with the George Floyd situation? That I don't understand. Again, drop a comment, explain your opinion, the situation, but keep it peaceful, keep it positive. Anything negative, anything bad will be deleted, guys. So I apologize, but anything negative or anything starting like a fight or something will be deleted so just keep it peaceful in the comments let's let's just conversate man it's 
it's a lot of stuff that needs to be talked about that everybody wants to jump into like violence get get mad get angry talk loud we can have a conversation you know hopefully everybody that watches me are adults you know or getting into the adulthood so we can have a conversation in the comments down below just keep it peaceful guys um so for some reason all this went into looting sneaker shops which again the protest peaceful protest turns into looting sneaker shops i think my opinion is the peaceful protests are not the ones that are doing this i think it's more of people that see an opportunity to start looting again we have been in quarantine season you know this whole pandemic stuff has changed a lot of people mentality and everything so they've been like really locked up and then now i just think that it's just a situation that they can take, take advantage of and go loot you know so that's just my opinion so yeah it went into small small shops looting uh of course la has been crazy flight club uh what does i have here round two p-town kicks you know i see all the instagram uh flight club yes they have a lot of sneakers but um most of them are like consigned so from like normal people like me and you like let's say that you come up with like 10 sneakers and you send them to consign that's like maybe like five or ten grand that is somebody like me and you small businesses you know uh, a lot of people say, well, the insurance is going to cover it, liability, all this and that. But to be honest, man, I I've been seeing on Instagram, uh, I'll show you guys another picture here. A picture from uh, flightclub.com saying, however, in the event that any of the goods are lost or stolen or are damaged or destroyed by fire, flood, customer handling or other causes beyond our reasonable control, then expect to the extent of insurance pro proceeds that we actually collect in respect of such goods the risk of loss remains with you and we assure no responsibility or obligation to make any payments or reimbursements in respect of any such loss or come on man like guys like a lot of people are getting affected by it man like even the even these big consign stores like flight club man all that inventory is not flight clubs all that inventory or half of the inventory is just regular people like me and you that's just sad man that's just man i'm sorry man like i don't want to cuss but this is just effed up man because as a small business owner myself like a small business owner i cannot imagine what i will be feeling if that happens to me you know i i went full time in january so i've only been like five months in or six months in because we're in June, but one month doesn't really count because we couldn't do nothing because of uh, COVID, right? So I, I've been in small business for like five months, like when I quit my full-time job, and I just cannot imagine me being affected like that in my shop. Like, that's just sad. Like, I, I think that would like break me, bro, to be honest, man. Um, but yeah, like all this insurance and, you know, liability and all that, check out another picture. This is from Riff LA. We've been hit in the past. We just never put it out there. Insurance gave us twenty percent of what we really lost. So if y'all keep do y'all keep it, it, so if y'all keep doing this, thinking insurance will cover everything, you're wrong. Picture losing one million and insurance ends up giving you like, bro. Y even the insurance, man. Like, yeah, you'll get some money, but you still have to wait. Especially during this time, like a lot of people will be doing those insurance claims. It it can be a year before you see any money from insurance. So. I don't know man this, this 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 is just crazy bro like i just wanted to make this video just to talk about it uh, let's see here so yeah like i said i feel for the small businesses i already touched a little bit of how i would feel as a small business owner um but yeah man uh so again people are looting locally small businesses that you'll have to see those businesses in the future whenever those businesses open up you'll have to drive by them You'll have to see those people because I'm pretty sure you're going to go back to that store when they open, when they're back up and running. And it's just something that you'll have to live with. You know, how are you going to feel you going to loot a small business 
And in six months, you go in there like nothing happened. Yo, what's up? What's up? Yo, what's, what's good? Knowing that you looted that place. Like, I couldn't do that, bro. I know a lot of people are heartless. A lot of people don't think like that. But, man, how can you live with yourself? If you do that, that's just not right. Again, I just want to end this video now. Uh, I'm with you guys. I understand you guys. But this is not the way. Uh, looting, riots, just keep it peaceful. You know, I'm pretty sure right now, whoever you wanted to hear you, they hear you, bro. America hears you. Like, they see everything that's going on. And I understand. I saw a tweet. Somebody tweeted out that... Um, they tried peaceful protests. They tried the whole kneeling with Colin Kaepernick. They tried the t-shirts. They tried all the peaceful things. And now that they're going crazy, now America hears you. I hear y'all. You know, I'm, I'm with y'all. Black Lives Matter. I understand everything. Everything that's going on. But I just don't agree with the whole rioting. I don't agree with the whole looting. I just don't understand what that has, has to do with the whole George Floyd situation. No looting, no riots, keep it peaceful. And I just wanna end on this note, stay safe, be safe. Again, COVID-19 is still around, so just keep it safe guys, keep it peaceful. And yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you guys tomorrow, peace.